Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 16th of July. These are general readings, like I always say. You know, if they resonate with you, awesome. If they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. Appreciate you all. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you shoot me an email or uh, give me a shout over the phone, things are set up quickly and they're done quickly. It's just the way I roll. <laughs> if you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video. They're $20 a piece. And uh, my mystery healing boxes which are absolutely beautiful. They are made to bring out the highest quality in your gemstones, your crystals, the healing properties, and um, they look awesome. So give me a shout if you're interested. All right, let's see what's shaking for the 16th of July. Sorry, this is not, you know, being recorded outside, but it was hotter than Hades outside. <laughs> Okay, first card out. We have the Six of Rods. This is overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from a battle and being victorious. About uh, accolades, props, winning. Someone has uh, maybe completed something that was difficult and finding victory in that. Overcoming obstacles, battles. Maybe somebody is getting recognized, you know, finally. For their talents. What's going on with it? Someone definitely feels like they conquered something. Or they're winning. Hmm. Strange. It's not love. <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Still a good card. In the upright, this is the universe giving somebody a opportunity to have new love. Making an old love new. Brandy new love. In the reverse, I feel like, you know, it's on hold. Something needs to be done first in order for this opportunity to come in. Now, maybe somebody has to overcome, over conquer something. Over conquer. You know, conquer something. Overcome something. You know, maybe getting back out in the dating game. That's just an example. You know, some sort of fear. So maybe somebody has to leave, you know, put their walls down to accept it in. And then an opportunity could come. And now you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, too. You know, this is about having something, you know, brand new in maybe money. The see, hear, taste, touch, feel things. Things have worth and value to us. Now, this being in the upright, in the reverse, excuse me. Again, I think it goes hand in hand with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody has to do something. Put something in motion. Overcome something. In order to bring these opportunities in. It's not that the opportunities aren't there. They're waiting for this person to make some sort of victory in their life. And then they can have these things. Hmm. We have the Sagittarius card of Temperance. This is about staying even keel. Head, heart on the same page. Subconscious, conscious. Your hopes and your fears in check. It's a card of patience. And maybe somebody here has to learn or, you know, exercise patience. In order to have these things. Patience is a, you know, it's a lesson, it's a skill. I had to learn that. <laughs> but it's hard to be patient sometimes. And if somebody can learn how to be patient, you know, that would be a victory. And then good things to come. I think so. Not be so anxious, maybe. 
or angry or any of those things. Ooh, because now we have the Empress. Queen of all queens here. Formerly known as a Libra or a Taurus. The great mom, the nurturing person, the kind person. Sometimes it means pregnancy. But she's the one that can bring anything into reality, birth an idea, and make it successful. Maybe this person needs to focus on getting Empress status instead of focusing on love, instead of focusing on money. Be patient, maybe, with themselves. Get themselves balanced. And get this Empress status. But somebody here is not putting the work into it. Not yet. You get the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, this could be learning a new skill, a trade, a craft. Working on themselves to make them the best them they could be. In the reverse, it's not putting all that energy into it. But it's right under the Six of Rods. Maybe if somebody did put the effort into conquering fears. You know, making improvements, making themselves the better version of them. And then these things would happen for them. Somebody needs to put an effort in. Because victory can be had. You know, getting that recognition, getting that empress status. You know, being admired for that. Turning eyes. But the universe is just not going to give it to this person. You got to work for it. Hmm. Maybe this person's going to be patient with themselves. You know, going through the process. Now we have the High Priestess here. The Keeper of Secrets. She is, you know, all about her intuition. She trusts it totally. And you never underestimate the High Priestess. She always knows more than what she says. And that's right under the Ace of Cups. Somebody's intuition might be telling them that they can have love. Or their intuition could be telling them that their, you know, love's not meant for them. Maybe that's why they'll put their sights on. Maybe internally they know something needs to be done first. Hmm. Nope, that was way too many. You know, maybe somebody secretly wants to have love and they don't have it in their life. There's another possibility that the cup is empty, but they can have a full cup of love and they can have the Kwong, the pentacle, if they just put the effort in, put the work in. Hmm. I mean, anything's possible. Whoops. I mean, anyone's time and effort and energy always, you know, has some sort of payoff, big or small. And now we have the Three of Cups. This is about uh, rejoicing, celebrating, come on over, you day, me day, any day, anniversary, birthday. It's a reuniting card. And that's right under the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I just got the feeling that um, somebody has to be alone or maybe separate themselves. Rehab? But separate themselves from the crowd. Not be like everyone else. Put the work into them. Be unique. Be kind. Be nurturing. Be creative. And get that empress status. That's winning. And this person internally knows that they can have this. They can do this. But they're not putting the effort in. For some reason, they're trapped. They have all these thoughts in their heads. 
thinking about something over and over and over, worrying about something, and it's right under the temperance card. And then somebody's not balanced. But then you have the four of rods. And this is, you know, deepening a bond. You know, a commitment goes to a higher level. Dating, going exclusive, exclusive, moving in together. It's about something that gets stable. I mean, it's something that starts off on the right foot. It's the beginning of somebody's castle. And it's right under the empress here. Of this person is totally capable of having all these things. But maybe they're not willing to work for them. With no effort, that shows no progress. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. It's known as the Daydreaming card, the Fantasizing card. It's not that the Three Cups aren't good enough, but man, a Fourth Cup would be amazing. So I feel like somebody here is, is dreaming, fantasizing. You know, that perfect job, that perfect friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. But they have to put the work into it. Excuse me, folks. This looks a little dark. Ta-da! <laughs> this person has all the skills, I feel, with the Empress here, to achieve anything they want. They think about it. They know they can have this. They know they can be committed to it. Maybe they overthink it. But maybe they talk to friends and stuff like that and they're just okay with being average when they, this person is extraordinary. Oh, so let's get into this. So we start off with getting the props, getting the accolades, the recognition, overcoming something, an obstacle, a battle. But love... You know, the Holy Grail love in the reverse. Something still needs to be done. There's still some work here before this can be offered. And the same with the Ace of Pentacles. This valuable thing, this money that brings in, you know, abundance. Somebody has to be patient. They need to get their act together here. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. They need to be patient with themselves. They need to get themselves balanced and shine like they're supposed to with the Empress card. I hear my phone ringing. But this is somebody who is very successful, you know, admired and kind. She didn't have to, you know, squash anybody to get up the ladder. She did everything on her own merit because she's capable of that. She's smart. Analytical, kind, nurturing, grounded. But why this person is not putting the effort into it? It's like they have all the skills. But they're not trying. Now, I think secretly, this person wants all these things. I think secretly, their intuition tells them that you could have all these things. You know, and you can go back to your friends feeling victorious. You know, and share your successes. Or reunite with someone. And again, I still get the feeling that maybe they had to break away from the people and be like, oh, it's okay to work, you know, at Dunkin' Donuts or something. Not that I'm not putting down the job. At all. But usually that's just a holdover job till something better comes along. So, this person thinks about it over and over again. Do they stay average? Or they go be extraordinary? Because this person can start building on that castle. That dream. Stabilize their situation. Be emperor status. They have all the skills. Hmm. 
funny. As I said, they broke away from this crowd, maybe. It's a walking away card. They would only be justifying themselves. Doing the right thing by them. And then they come back, you know, when they reach this emperor status, when, you know, they've stabilized their situation here, when they put the effort into it, and that is victory. So let's break it down, folks. We have somebody who wants to get the accolades, wants to get the props, wants to get that recognition, but does not want to put the effort into it. This person might want love, a new opportunity in love, but it hasn't come yet. This person might want to be impressive in front of their friends or reunite with their friends. But the opportunity is not there. Not yet. This person might be struggling with trying to be balanced, trying to be patient. Get their emotions, you know, in their head in the right space. But this person could so be empress. And run an empire and be successful and be admired for it. For her skills, her talents. And could build this castle. And this person daydreams about it. They could probably see it. They just need to put the work into it. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.